Welcome to Rooted Cosmic Soul. I know. See me. <laughs> I know. It's been in the works. So today's episode is sort of a pre-launch of some Rooted Cosmic Soul episodes in which you'll be able to see me, depending on how much time. I'll still have graphics like this, but who knows? I don't know. We'll see. So those who know me that I and my amazing business partner, Maureen, created a learning exploration process called Transmuting White Supremacy and Patriarchy. We released it back in 2020-ish, I think, uh, but we've been coaching it to individuals and organizations since about 2018. In 2019, I started a really uh, intentional and specific individual spiritual journey. And this was on the heels of a decade of intentional childhood trauma healing via talk therapy, meditation, isolation, homeopathic remedies, yoga, massage. Then in 2023, spirit me came in like a lamb and a lion. I was forcibly moved by chronic pain in the lower back. That chronic pain moved to my entire upper back, shoulder, and chest. There was not much left for me to do but to step deeper into what all that pain was trying to tell me. And so my journey to transmute and release the tie that binds began. And so by tie, T-I-E, I mean transmuting the I, the eye. So the eye is in the self and the eye, E-Y-E, e -Y -E, as in the mind's eye. And so I, transmuting the eye is the practice of changing, altering, lifting the veil on the external and internal exertion of oppression, suppression, and control on the 3D experience. You then release your energy from it and engage a 5D perception and reality. Or you could call it a more true and authentic divine self. So there are many names for this journey. Some folks call it shadow work or activist work or a requirement for being an empath or maybe even just the price for the desire to be a compassionate and kind human in this dense construct of reality. So this is where I've been. The universe gifted me with space, time, and place to breathe, slow down, see clarity. Intentionally diving into the wounds of the womb wounds grafted onto me by society and its needs you know, to sever and shred us from ourselves. So I was given the time to dive into the parts of me that needed seeing, that wanted an invitation to life, that simply sought love. It has felt like a journey that many are not taking, but spirit assures me my perception of isolation is protection and necessary for this space this space right here to share with those on a similar path, ideas, concepts, and ways of being that can support finding and following your true passion, finding and vibrating at your highest frequency, where balance, clarity, joy, and processed sorrow dwell. So this particular journey leads me to joyfully share that I will be offering episodes on the Rooted Cosmic Soul channel, exploring and discussing specific those of you who know me know that's Onyx. I'm gonna leave it alone, baby boo boo. I'm gonna be offering episodes on Rooted Cosmic Soul Channel, exploring uh, and discussing very specific considerations for releasing the tie that binds. So some of these will include my newest project that is the Transmuting the Eye Oracle Card Reads. So for those who just want the yang of it, you'll get the initial half of the episode, and that's where the more maybe scientific, academic-minded folks will get information about transmuting the eye. And then to balance it out, there'll be the yin side of it, where we'll call on spirits and take it on into and through an oracle card read. So that's coming. The cards aren't ready yet. I'm working on them right now. Spirit doesn't like to be rushed. Today, what we're going to do is I, I felt drawn to share a meditation I created for myself fairly recently. I'm recording this the day before the full moon in Scorpio on April 23rd, which is tomorrow. 
when you'll be watching this, but that's when I'm recording it. I uh, spent the weekend really sitting with all the very intense energies that we have happening right now uh, in our skies and particularly with the Uranus and Jupiter conjunction. And so I've been doing meditations in that. And then I felt the need to just do a silent sit. Like I was doing a guided meditation on the upcoming Scorpio full moon and the Uranus, Uranus, Jupiter conjunction. But for some reason I felt drawn to just sit, right? Just do my normal sit that is just silent, no music, no guided, nothing, just me. And so I started out oh, just doing my usual morning sit. And about a quarter way into it, I felt drawn to call in the energies of the earth, the moon, and the sun. And so my goal was to sit with that energy and burn off what does not serve me. Much of that has been my limiting beliefs that were created and grown by my shadow self in order to protect me from often heavy and harmful weight of oppression, suppression, and control. I did the meditation. I've done the meditation twice and you know, I'm going to, you know, be honest, what I created was really amazing. It was an amazing journey um, that is supporting my intention to continue to peel back the layers of this construct, right? And set free my truest authentic self. And I felt a very clear draw from spirit that I need to share it. So the following information is a consideration, right? An idea on how one can transmute the eye. It is for those who like me have been doing their own intentional shadow and self-love work. So I'm going to share with you the choices that I made and how I integrated and channeled these energies. Um, it's not a guided meditation, not really. Um, I guess you could follow it that way, but right now I kind of prefer to offer ideas and then let folks create their own process. But it is a really powerful meditation. I, I think so. I've done it twice. I'm going to probably do it for the rest of the week. But if a guided meditation video is wanted, please let me know in the comments and I'll create one. I'll create a separate actual guided meditation. We'll call it Earth, Moon, Sun, Chakra, Love and Energy Cleanse Guided Meditation. Uh, okay, I think I've rambled enough on that. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's jump in. I really appreciate whoever's still here. Hey, awesome. Let's get in it. So whenever I start uh, a spiritual sit, a silent sit, a meditation, whatever, I like to start with, I either start with like really thinking about my auric field or my grounding cord. It really depends on what I feel like I need in that moment. Uh, with this one, I uh, suggest consider starting with your grounding cord. I really feel visualize dropping a grounding cord from the base of your spine uh, and feel it connect with gratitude to the earth. And the earth is going to, that connection is going to help recycle any one unwanted energy, right? It can also steady you. So I'll start there, right? Just start with knowing that my grounding cord is there and starting to think about releasing all unwanted, unnecessary, old energies, emotions, thoughts, feelings, etc., and let it go down my grounding cord. Breathe in the knowing, be conscious of your breath. Some people really like to do very specific, there's breath work videos out there specific about lion's breath and breathing through a straw in the mouth, out the nose, dot, dot, dot. I like all that stuff, but I don't know enough about that to make a suggestion. I also know that some people, you know, can't breathe through the nose or the mouth or whatever. So do what works for you. Just breathe knowing you are worthy, whole and enough. So you're gonna breathe in the knowing you are worthy, whole enough and breathe out the fear that limits the passions of your authentic self from showing up. I say that again, you're going to breathe in the knowing you are worthy, whole and enough. And then you're going to breathe out the fear that limits the passions of your authentic self from showing up. So once you've, I've sat in that, I, that was when I was sitting in that for quite a, a bit, just in that energy of breathing in and breathing out. And then that's when I had this idea of calling in some additional energy. And so I thought of earth energy, right? Imagine and visualize that you are growing roots from the soles of your feet, or for those folks who don't have feet, uh, the bottom of your lowest point, right? You're growing uh, roots from that point. And you want to take as much time as you need because 
you don't necessarily need to overthink this. So if this is new, I, I, I used to overthink it um, until I realized that this is more coming from the heart than anywhere else. Um, and just trust the earth wants to connect with you. You are the earth. The earth is you. Um, just trust that the roots are growing. And if it helps, you can visualize the roots growing, going through, you know, the bottom of your floor. If you're not outside already through your basement, into the ground, into the different layers, etc. I have a really great video on growing roots and grounding cords on my channel. So check it out there. Uh, but you're going to let, uh, you're going to grow those roots, right? And then you're going to let earth's energy fill and flow up your roots and into your physical body. What earth offers us is grounding. And in this particular moment for this meditation, it's our intention to let earth give us an infusion of care and comfort. Next, I thought about the moon and the moon's energy. And so you want to imagine and visualize moon, the moon's beams in any phase that speaks to you. And you want to think about it out in front of your being. And you're going to take in the moon energy. You can visualize it as moonbeams, which I really like. Um, whether you're sensing a full or dark moon, the moon energy is always present at all times. So just sense those beams coming in. You're going to take a moment to feel that energy wrapping around your auric field. And if you're so inclined, let it in. I let it in and I just let that beautiful moon glow all over my entire being. What the moon is going to offer is going to offer us integration of the deepest knowings we already know. It's just a remembering our intuition, our connection to the divine feminine, the yin. Next, we think about the sun, bringing in the sun. And so I imagine and visualize the sun above my crown chakra. And I feel its warmth and shine flow over the crown, my crown, your crown. And if you're so inclined, you're going to let it spill over. Like, I like to imagine uh, the crown is like a lotus flower, right? And it's just filling, 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 whatever that particular meditation I'm doing. This time it's the sun. Fill it, fill it, fill it until it starts flowing over uh, and falling down into and through the rest of my body. And just let it flow. The sun energy is going to offer us the shine to be our truest selves. Uh, the sun is going to offer us the shine to be our truest selves because you are worthy to shine at maximum wattage. I am worthy. You are worthy. And, you know, this meditation is part of believing that. <laughs> it's helping us remember it, regard it, believe that you are worthy to shine at your maximum wattage. Um, the sun is also going to help support a burning off of false images of self. Uh, so here it's like, really remember as you create your own meditation or your spiritual sit here, if you want to use the sun's energy to burn off and help you release any energies that are blocking or hindering the chakra, you can, you just, you know, the chakra that you're first, you're, you are focusing on, um, imagine any limiting beliefs, false premises, outgrown energies, negative thoughts related to the energies that chakra houses burning up and exploding into gold energy or simply flowing out and down your grounding cord for the earth to recycle. So moon, sun, earth, ourselves, uh, you can call in uh, spirits, ancestors, angels, archangels, galactic energy, really make it your own. What you believe in, do that. And when you're ready, I like to take a moment to sense, see, feel all three of those magnificent energies simultaneously and to hold it with gratitude and appreciation, right? Let them love on you for a moment. Another thing that I've been adding on is like, as I'm deepening my relationship with my ancestors, remembering that when I'm having really beautiful energetic experiences, really any, like any experience, but I'm feeling joy, the sun on my skin, the, the cool wind, the sun on my face, the cool wind on my skin, etc. hot spring soak to with intention, send that energy to my ancestors, particularly those who lived during, uh, intense colonization, killing of indigenous folks, slavery of African. I have ancestors who have dealt with really intense, intense, intense trauma. And so the idea of then being able to just take a stroll down the street or let the wind hit their face or have a hot spring soak is so outside of was so outside of their reality. I like to send that to them, uh, because their footsteps got me here. And so I send that to them. So that that's a space where I would do that. 
So when you're ready, you bring your attention to your root chakra. And uh, from your earth roots, those roots we grew from our bottommost point, activate earth energy at the root chakra. So visualize the root chakra. And I will use an affirmation such as I am stable, I am safe, I am secure, I am worthy. Take a slow, intentional breath. You can take as many as you'd like to really anchor into that uh, affirmation. And imagine as you're doing that earth energy, filling your root chakra and can repeat any uh, energy affirmations you feel drawn to. When it comes to the moon's glow, I'm going to come back to the moon. The moon is right here. I've positioned it here. I'm going to activate moon energy at my root chakra with the affirmation. I integrate sta stability. I integrate security. I integrate safety. I integrate worthiness. Again, I'm going to take a slow and intentional breath. As I'm breathing with intention, I'm imagining moon energy glowing up my root chakra. And again, I'm repeating uh, any energy affirmations I feel drawn to. Then I move to the sun's shine and feeling the sun's rays. I'm going to activate sun energy at the root chakra with the affirmation. I shine in my stability safety, security, and worthiness. Taking slow breaths and intentional, uh, taking slow and intentional breaths, let that sink in. Right? And I'm, as I'm doing that, I'm imagining the sun's energy, the sun's rays shining on my root chakra. And I'm repeating any energy affirmations that I feel drawn to. Again, remember to breathe with intention. A lot of you, you are Bridging a connection between your energy, like my energy through my breath, my spirit through my breath with that of the sun, the moon, the earth. And I'm breathing in the knowing that I'm worthy. I'm breathing out fear that limits me. And I like to be really specific. I don't like that energy that I'm breathing out to just be floating around. So I very much intentionally think of it going down, either going down my rounding cord and letting the earth recycle, or I visualize it going up and outside of my auric field and exploding it into gold energy. So you're going to let this trifecta of energy at your root chakra center, charge, and clear your root energy center. And so next we go to the sacral chakra, right? We're going to do all the same things again, but this time with uh, the sacral chakra. So from the earth roots, I'm activating earth energy. I'm saying affirmations such as I feel, I create, I desire. I'm breathing intentional breaths. I'm breathing in earth energy, feeling the sacral chakra, repeating any affirmations or just sitting in silence and feeling it through and letting that be. I move on to the moon's glow, those moon beams. I activate that moon energy at my sacral chakra. It's time to integrate. I integrate my feelings. I integrate my creative flow. I integrate my desires. You can say this as quick or slow as you'd like. Just, I suggest really consider connecting it to your breath. And as you're doing that, imagine, really imagine the moon energy glowing up your sacral chakra. And then for the sun, See the sun's rays activating that sun energy at your sacral chakra with an affirmation like my feelings shine, my creativity shines, my desires shine. And saying it slow with your breath. Imagine that energy shining on your sacral chakra. Repeat any affirmations you feel drawn to. Remember to breathe with intention. Breathe in the knowing that you are worthy. Breathe out fear that limits you. Let the earth take it and recycle it. Let the trifecta slow down enough to remember. You're going to let the trifecta of this energy, earth, moon, sun, center, charge, and clear your sacral energy center. Next, you are going to move your attention to your solar plexus chakra energy center. And... From your earth's roots, you're going to activate earth energy at your solar plexus chakra with an affirmation. Could be, I am powerful, I transform, I transmute. Take slow and intentional breaths as you imagine earth energy filling your solar plexus chakra. You can be repeating more affirmations if you feel so inclined. 
You're going to move to the moon's glow, activate those moonbeams at your solar plexus chakra with affirmations. I use, I integrate my imminent power, imminent, I-M-M-A-N-E-N-T, imminent power. It's a word that many of us don't know. If you don't know it, look it up. I integrate my courage. I integrate transmutation of energy. I'm taking slow and intentional breaths. Uh, I'm imagining as I'm doing these slow and intentional breaths, I'm imagining that moon energy glowing up my slower, my solar plexus. And I'm repeating any energy affirmations I feel drawn to. When I'm ready, I move to the sun and the sun's rays and that shine. And I activate that sun energy at my solar plexus. It's feeling really good right now because it's like double suns, right? Solar plexus, the sun. Today's meditation, oh, I warmed up. Oof, did I warm up at this point? Um, could have been a hot flash, but... What is a hot flash, but energy sending a message. Um, so anyway, energy, uh, energy at my solar plexus. You repeat any affirmations I use. Uh, I powerfully shine. I courageously shine. My shine transmutes the bullshit of this 3d perception. And I just take slow and intentional breaths. Imagine sun energy shining on your solar plexus chakra. Repeat any energy affirmations you feel drawn to. Remember to breathe with intention especially at this point with the sun, you're using it, right? Breathe in the knowing that you are worthy and breathe out fear that limits you and you can let the, the earth take it and recycle it. One thing I haven't noted, I didn't note in the other ones, like you can imagine, especially with the sun's rays, solar flares, that when you're breathing out all that, what that does not serve you, all the fear, all pattern, unwanted patterns, old patterns, things you want to release, things you want to let go of, you can imagine the power of the sun burning that shit up, <laughs> right? I'm a fire sign. Sometimes I do like to just watch it burn up, burst into flames. Uh, in between me being a fire sign, my uh, love for Kali Ma and uh, my love of fire. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. So anyway, let that trifecta of energy center of let that trifecta of the moon, the sun, and the earth center, charge, and clear your solar plexus energy center. When you're ready, move to your heart chakra. I personally like to spend a lot of time at the heart chakra just because it's a place where I'm doing a lot of shadow work to unlearn unhealthy love habits and to remember and regard what divine love actually means and looks like. Um, so here you're going to activate earth energy at your heart chakra with energy affirmation. I like, I embody love, empathy, kindness, compassion, and grace for myself and others. I'm taking slow and intentional breaths. As I do that, I'm imagining earth energy filling my heart chakra and I'm repeating any uh, energy affirmations I feel drawn to. Since I spend extra time at my heart chakra, there's a lot of affirmations that will come to me in the moment. And I'm also taking note of those for further introspection and self-awareness as I do my shadow work when I'm not in a spiritual sit, you know, the other spiritual sit work, journaling, exploring. So anyway, I'm taking those deep intentional breaths. I'm imagining earth energy filling my heart chakra and I'm repeating any additional affirmations. Then uh, I move to the moon's glow, moonbeams. I really love the way the moonbeam feels, particularly at my heart chakra and my third eye, but we're on the, moon. We're on the heart. So moonbeams activate the moon energy at your heart chakra. Uh, I use the affirmations. I integrate self-love. I integrate empathy. I integrate a balanced divine energy. Taking slow and intentional breaths as I imagine earth energy glowing up my heart chakra and then Again, repeating any uh, energy affirmations I feel drawn to. When I get to the sun, activating that sun energy uh, to my heart, to fill my heart chakra with the affirmation, my heart shines powerfully. I compassionately shine love. I am worthy of my shine. Taking slow and intentional breaths. I'm imagining that sun energy shining, glowing up, just really bring in that green pinkish heart energy to sparkles <laughs> and I'm repeating any energy affirmations that I feel drawn to remembering to breathe with intention. I'm breathing in the knowing that I am worthy. I'm breathing out all the bullshit, the fear, the ideas that limit me and I'm letting earth take it and recycle it. I'm letting this trifecta of moon, sun and earth energy 
center, charge, and clear my heart energy centers. Now we're moving to the throat chakra. So with the throat chakra, I'm thinking about those earth roots. I'm activating the energy. And I say that, I think the reason I said that I'm thinking about the earth roots is that for me, sometimes I get stuck in the idea that I have to like really visualize the flow from the center of the earth into my roots and up. Look, it's in there. The intention that the earth energy is in me is in me. So it's there. And so I'm just activating the earth energy at my throat chakra. And I'm using the affirmation. I trust my voice. I speak my truth. I communicate with love. Trust my voice. I speak truth. I communicate with love. Trust my voice. I speak truth. I communicate with love. Uh, Slow and intentional breaths. Imagining earth energy filling up my throat chakra. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Speaking any additional affirmations that might come through. The moon's glow to the moon. Remember, I got the moon situated about here. I'm activating those moonbeams to fill my throat chakra with the affirmation. I integrate my voice. I integrate my truths. I integrate balanced communication. So for me to even get to a place where I've been doing the story times here and even this video, I have been doing intense throat chakra work. It works. It works. Eight months ago, I've never, I would have never done something like this. I had the thought, but I was too afraid to do it. So here we are. I integrate my voice. I integrate my truths. I integrate balanced communication. Take slow and intentional breaths as I'm imagining moon energy glowing up my throat chakra. Then I move to the sun, hanging out above my head. It's flowing, it's flowing, it's flowing. It's overflowing. I've got all this energy flowing into my throat chakra. I'm activating that sun energy at my throat chakra. And I am thinking my truth shines. My voice shines. I shine authentically. My truth shines. My voice shines. I shine authentically. Taking slow and intentional breaths. As I imagine sun energy shining up my throat chakra, I'm repeating any energy affirmations I feel drawn to. Breathing all of this in with intention. I'm breathing in the knowing that I am worthy. I'm breathing out fear that's limiting me. Anything that I'm releasing, I'm letting the earth take and recycle it. I'm letting this trifecta of sun, moon, earth center, charge, and clear my throat energy center. Next, I move to the third eye. I'm going to tell you today's meditation. When I got to the third eye and I was like deep in it, I think when I was about at the moon, maybe close to the sun, The birds in my yard went haywire. There were so many different birds. I actually don't know if there were, if it was different ever than it is, if it, or if I was just in a place that I could hear it differently, you know, that I could hear it more, but it felt I was in my body and not in my body. And I could hear the birds just singing as I was going through my third eye. It was really amazing. Anyway, so earth, earth roots, right? Activating your energy at your third eye chakra. I use the affirmations. I see my truth. I hear my truth. I embrace my intuition. I'm taking slow and intentional breaths. I'm imagining earth energy filling that third, my third eye chakra. And I'm repeating any affirmations or taking in intentional breaths and exhaling as much as I feel like I need to or that my third eye is asking me. Then I move on to the moon's glow. I'm activating the moon energy at my third eye with the affirmations. I integrate my intuition. I integrate my imagination. I integrate curiosity. I integrate my intuition. I integrate my imagination. I integrate curiosity. And I take slow and intentional breaths. I imagine the moon energy glowing up my third eye chakra and I repeat any energy affirmations I feel drawn to. At the sun, Sunshine is flowing, flowing, flowing. At this point, third eye is drenched in sun rays (laughs) because it's so close to the chakra. And so I'm activating the sun energy at my third eye chakra with the affirmations. My intuition shines. My imagination shines. I shine and burn off the aspects of my being that have been suppressed, oppressed, and controlled. I shine and burn off the aspects of my being that have been suppressed, oppressed, and controlled. Taking slow and intentional breaths. I'm imagining that sun energy 
on my third eye chakra, repeating any affirmations I feel drawn to. Remembering to breathe with intention. I'm breathing in. If you've been listening, you know what's coming. I'm breathing in the knowing that I am worthy. And I'm breathing out the fears that limit me. And I'm letting the earth take those fears. Thinking about this trifecta of energy, sun, moon, and earth. I'm letting it center, charge, and clear my third eye energy. Last but certainly not least, we're at the crown chakra. And I am thinking about earth. I'm letting that earth energy activate at my crown chakra with the affirmations. I know my truth. I know I am divine. I know I am. So- I know I am sovereign. I'm taking slow and intentional breaths. I'm imagining earth energy, filling my crown chakra and repeating any affirmations I feel drawn to. I know my truth. I know I am divine. I know I am sovereign. I know my truth. I know I'm divine. I know I am sovereign. Right. And I'm just letting that fill me. Then the moon, the moon is ready, loves to integrate. And it's like, okay, let's get it at the crown chakra. I integrate my sovereignty. I integrate my truth. I integrate my divinity. I integrate it. It's one thing to be out there doing that they're doing. I can say I love myself, but how does it look to be doing things that show I love myself? I integrate. I integrate my sovereignty. I integrate my truth. I integrate my divinity. Taking slow and intentional breaths, imagining that moon energy glow up my crown chakra, and repeating any affirmations that I feel drawn to. And then the sun shine. I'm activating the sun energy at my crown chakra with the affirmation, my my That word always gets me. My sovereignty shines. My divinity shines. I shine with deep awareness. Taking slow and intentional breaths. Imagining the sun energy shining up my crown chakra more than it normally is. And repeating any energy affirmations I feel drawn to. I'm remembering to breathe with intention. Breathing in the knowing I'm worthy. You are breathing in the knowing that you are worthy. I'm breathing out the fear that limits me. You are breathing out the fear that limits you. We're letting the earth take it and recycle it. We're letting the trifecta of moon, sun, earth center, charge, and clear our crown energy center. So at this point, you've done all your chakras. Well, seven of them anyway. Uh, You can sit in this journey and let it. I like to sit there for a minute. Just feel it. Feel it out. Feel it out. Especially when you do a guided meditation that you're guiding yourself through. At least let me speak from the eye. When I'm doing a guided meditation, there's something where I'm speaking to myself. So after I've done it, all that energy that I've created, that I'm flowing in, I like to just be silent, stop talking to myself (laughs) and be in that. So you have the opportunity to do that, right? And let the moment decide how much time you'll spend in the space that you just created. When you're done or just at some point before you close out, you really want to breathe in love and exhale gratitude. Be intentional. I'm breathing in love. I'm exhaling gratitude. One, it's just part for yourself, but I think it's also just for the world, right? I'm breathing in love. I'm exhaling gratitude. And that gratitude goes to where it needs to flow. You might want to consider sealing in the energy that you just created. I know in some meditations, people will start out with growing branches from the crown. I like to, sometimes I like to do it at the end. So this is one of those meditations where I'll grow the branches from my crown at the end and like up and into the cosmos. And I want to connect with the center of the universe or whatever you think, whatever word is here for you. God, goddess, Yah, uh, Muhammad, Buddha, Kuan Yin, Yemaya, Olodumar. Like, I don't know, whatever works for you, science, cosmos, the Milky Way, your word here, right? Uh, Connect with that, connect with that. And imagine a violet colored energy flowing down your branches and down your spine through all of your energy centers. Let it expand expand outward into your skin, your bones, your blood, your being. You're going to breathe it in deeply. And with the knowing that you are healing, you are loved, you are worthy, and you are enough. Take a bit of that violet energy and sprinkle it on the outer layer of your auric field. Let it love you. Set the intention that it is both healing and protective. As I'm closing out meditations, I always like to give thanks to ancestors, spirit guides, angels, higher self. 
If you've made it this far, you've given yourself and have received quite a gift. So be in gratitude. And that's really the, that's really the meditation. <laughs> that's like I said at the beginning, if you want me to create a guided meditation, I will do that. No less words here. Less words. Those of you who know me know I'm wordy. I'm a writer. But I could do a guided meditation that is just the guided meditation and you can listen to it as your meditation instead of creating your own or uh, in addition to creating your own. Just let me know. Leave it in the comments. May you find, be, do what is your true passion for it is within that following that we flow and find our highest frequencies. Unfettered and infinite love and gratitude.